All right, y'all, so here we are with the cold frozen stuff, like the meats and the stuff that needs to get put in the fridge right away. So I'm going to go ahead and do these first really quick. So I am going to be doing some stir fries this week. Um, I think we're going to be doing two different kinds. I'm going to do one with chicken and one with the sausage. So I picked up a um, couple of these deluxe stir fries. And then I must have was looking at these <laughs> while I was getting the order. Uh, made and I picked up a teriyaki and a sesame garlic one as well. I did not realize I ordered all four, but they will get eaten. No biggie. Um, a bag of peas and carrots. This is going to go inside of my dog food that I'm making. And then I have some onions and bell peppers. This is going to be for my breakfast burritos that I'm going to make here in a little bit. All right, I have four of these smoked sausages. Now that is going to be um, for some stir fries and I think something else, I don't remember exactly, but we're having two dishes with um, these sausages. And of course I got some pork sausage. This is going to be for the breakfast burritos and I got one hot, the Jimmy Dean, and then these two are from Aldi, so I have three. I have a couple um, three pound uh, rolls of turkey, ground turkey, one's for us and one's for my puppies. I'm going to be making them some homemade dog food. I have a couple um, containers of chicken breasts because I'm making a bunch of uh, meals that, in, that need chicken. And I got a bag of leg quarters. Now that is what I'm going to be using for my barbecued baked chicken. I cannot wait. It sounds so good. It's been a while since I've had it, so I'm excited. So I also have a couple dozen eggs and a couple bags of cheese. Now I have some mild shredded cheese as well as a Mexican style blend. So these two will definitely come in handy. Um, I'm making some chicken spaghetti, so I'm gonna need to sprinkle some of that on top too. Um, I also picked up a couple sour cream. We go through lots of sour cream here, so two of them is always a must here. And then my son is going to give these chicken patties a try for the lunches. Um, my oldest will probably eat them, my, um, but my, my little one is really picky, so we will see. It is hard to get them to eat processed foods, um, so we will see um, if they'll like it, but... Um, we'll go ahead and give it a try. It'll be a quick, easy lunch between classes. All right, and I have a gallon of orange juice because I love me some orange juice, and we just like to keep orange juice in stock. My husband, my husband doesn't really care much for it. Neither does my oldest, but me and my youngest, we love me some orange juice. So my husband's um, coffee. This is what he gets from Aldi, and also a, um, a gallon of milk. And then I also picked up some corn dogs. So put these inside the air fryer for quick, easy lunches in one day. So, And then I have a big bag of potatoes here. And here are some waters. I only got one soda this time, y'all. If you've seen, I posted. I actually ordered, I think it was like 10 or 12 drinks. Oh my gosh, I had so many drinks. So we still had plenty. But I just got one for now and some waters. So that is it for the grocery haul. I'm going to go ahead and get all of the meats put up really quick. And then I will be back with the rest of the video. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start in this corner and tell you what I've got. So this is mainly from Aldi. So I have some Cheetos. Now this I've never tried. So I don't know if this brand is good or not. But I was craving some Cheetos and they had some. So I just picked some up. The barbecue chips. I love these. So we, the kids love these. So we like to snack on these, you know, with sandwiches. So it's always good to have some chips on hand. So I like to keep a couple bags. Um, so for our cereals, so this is like Lucky Charms. It's really good. I got some Honey Nut Cheerios. It is gluten free. I love it. So I decided to switch it up from my um, wheat checks, or not wheat checks, they are corn checks. Um, to the Cheerios for right now because you know you do get tired of having the same old thing over and over and being gluten free you don't have a whole lot of options so got some Honey Nut Cheerios and then some Cocoa Rice
Alright, I picked up a box of peanut butter wafers, and these are just like Nutty Buddies, just for the kids to have to add to their snacks. I also have some chocolate chip cookies, some gluten-free spaghetti. Now, this is from Aldi, um, Walmart. This was not from Aldi, but I just picked one up because we are having um, chicken spaghetti today. I'm also going to be sharing that with you here in this video so in a little bit, so um, if you want to see how I make that, stay tuned. I also have a few packets of taco seasoning. Um, we go through lots of taco seasoning, so I always get some, every time I do a grocery um, pickup, um, some gluten-free um, pasta for a goulash that I'm making another day this week. And y'all, I don't know if I've ever had grits. I don't remember. So I decided to get some grits. Um, I'm, it doesn't say it's gluten-free, but I know there are some gluten-free cons. But I just picked this one up. I'm going to try it anyways. Um, and then I also picked me up some oatmeal. And this is gluten free. I love this oatmeal. So I don't like, I like quick oats. I don't like the um, old fashioned type. So um, if you're looking for um, some oatmeal that is gluten free, they sell this at Walmart and it's really good. And also, of course, I have to have me some sunflower seeds. So I have three bags of those right here. Um, this was from Aldi. This is a Velveeta type cheese. And um, this is for my chicken spaghetti. I have some tortillas. We're going to be doing some fajitas. Also, I'm going to be prepping some breakfast burritos today for um, the family. Getting them put in the freezer. That way they'll have them for breakfast in the mornings. Y'all, it will make life so much easier to, to, to um, meal prep these. So I'm going to go ahead and make those here. And I'll share that with you in a little bit. As far as the canned goods, I have some green beans. I have some corn, black beans, um, I got this gluten free cream of mushroom and I have a cream of chicken one in the pantry already. This is going to be for my chicken spaghetti. I have some mushrooms, a can of Rotel, some pimentos and some tuna back there. Also, I picked up some barbecue sauce. This is going to this is the sweet and spicy. Never tried it, but it sounded so good. So I decided to pick up a couple of those. We're going to be having some baked barbecue chicken and some baked potatoes one night for dinner. So I was like, yes, that was that sounds so good. Now, I also picked me up some pita breads. Um, I love pita bread, and this is gluten free at Walmart. So um, I just have this here. And then instead of bread, I pick up their hamburger buns, y'all. Um, this is the best tasting gluten-free bread that I have found, and it's these buns. So um, I don't buy the loaf of breads no more because they don't taste great. The only way those taste great is if you cook them for breakfast, like, you know, you um, toast them with butter. And I don't eat it that way all the time, so it's not always that great. So these are wonderful. I'm sticking to the hamburger buns. You know, I can use these for sandwiches. I'll use them for breakfast, whatever. I'll, this is just my go-to bread now. And also, I picked up a couple things that are not food. I needed some more dishwashing gel and then some shampoo. I've been using the um, volume Mizing shampoo and then the one that I get is usually like almost eight bucks and then I seen this and it had really good reviews so I decided to give it a try um, I used to love Aussie way back when and I used to use it all the time I love the scent it's just so good so I was like you know what let me just go ahead and give it a try it was only two something so um, and it's a small bottle and once I go through it if I like it again I'll purchase a bigger bottle if they have it or I'll continue to get it if not I will go back to the other brand so um, also have four cucumbers here and some bananas. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jesse. Today y'all, I'm going to be doing a Sunday reset, just getting things stocked up and everything ready for start of the school week y'all. I'm going to be putting up the groceries right now. I'm also going to be meal prepping here. I'm going to be making some homemade 
um, sausage burritos for um, breakfast for the kiddos and the husband. And also we're going to get some cleaning done. So I'm going to be bringing you some cleaning motivation as well. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Now I'm going to get started. I'm going to play some music. Get up and clean with me. Let's get it done or just watch and get motivated. And I want to say thank you so much for being here and watching another one of my videos, y'all. And I know y'all are probably still <laughs> waiting for that makeover video. And I just haven't got to it. I haven't been feeling all that great. So I do have my ups and downs, y'all. Bear with me. Um, I do have an autoimmune disease where my body attacks itself and my body attacks my thyroid. I have Hashimoto's, if you've heard of that. I do know I have some new subscribers, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but I do suffer from that. So um, there are days that, you know, I have to, I'm dragging, and there's days that I can't do anything, and there's days that I have so much energy. So it's a hit and a miss, you know. So um, I've been having the want to do the makeover, y'all. It's just my body isn't allowing me, so... Um, it's easier for me to film this stuff because this stuff has to get done regardless. Um, this is just, you know, stuff that I would be doing on the daily rather than taking on a big task of a makeover right now. So I'm hoping soon I will get to it. Uh, maybe this coming weekend I will most likely um, do it. So this weekend, maybe next Monday, we'll, you know, you'll have it for next Monday's video. But thank y'all so much for, you know, bearing with me and understanding. <laughs> I just, I know y'all like the makeovers and I'm trying to bring y'all some makeovers, but there's only so much I can do. So this is 27. It doesn't matter what I've been through. I should go out too, but I still act like I'm 11. I'm not emotionally sound since I left you. And no, I don't like to be the bad guy. I won't be surprised if I'm the last one now. But I had you where I wanted you, never had to ask. I'd set the world on fire. Just to get it back Don't know how it feels to be someone you love And it gets me down, down, down Yeah, I had you where I wanted you Never had to ask I'd set the world on fire Just to get it back Don't know how it feels to be someone you love And it gets me down I let it slip so much Start the music, kill the silence Let my mind rest Pour a drink cause it's effective Can't seem to get my head around Why I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy You know I don't lie I really miss you now But I had you where I wanted you Never had to ask I'd set the world on fire chicken spaghetti for dinner and I had some left over that I did not have enough room in the 
um, baking dish to put it in the di baking dish. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it inside of the Ziploc bag. And I will just get this out tomorrow. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more of cream of chicken soup to it. And then bake it with some cheese on top. And that will be tomorrow's dinner. That way um, I don't have to cook and it won't go to waste because I made way too much. Um, but actually the um, glass you know, baking dish that I have is actually in the fridge already with cake in there. So I didn't have the one that I needed. Um, so it's okay. It all works out. That means I don't have to cook tomorrow. Um, then it works that way just fine for me. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cover up the other two dishes. They are both chicken spaghetti. Um, one's just a gluten-free version and one is just the regular. And I did have this film for y'all, but there was so much going on during the filming process, y'all, that I just, I just, it was just too much. Um, so I decided to just film it for you another day, but it is a very easy recipe. And I have, um, I think, done this video a long time ago. It's been forever since I've made this. Um, so um, I'll make it again not long from now. That way I can share the recipe with you because it is so easy, but it is so, so delicious. Try. When the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is And none of it has helped Experience has made me realize That I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts I'm so tired of sausage burritos and get those prepped for the week so what I'm doing here is I'm just browning up some sausage now I had a roll of sausage that I got from Aldi and I believe that yeah this is the Aldi brown that I'm cooking and I'm just gonna go ahead and brown it up really good Now I'm going to go ahead and crack open a dozen eggs into the skillet. Now if I um, were making this for me, um, I would probably add the onion and bell peppers, but my husband and my sons don't really care much for it, so I left it out. But if you do like the onions and bell peppers, I would suggest to fry those up first and then add your sausage and then crack your eggs. I love how it's just so easy to make. You can, you know, do it all in just one pot or one pan and it's just it's so easy. And we love these sausage burritos, y'all. We make them, just stick them in the freezer and we always have them on hand and they just taste so much better homemade. Um, you can put whatever you want in them. Um, I was thinking about doing potatoes next time in there as well. I think those would be really delicious. And we just grab them out of the freezer, pop them in the microwave, heat them up, and then we um, top them off with some picante sauce and eat them. But it's very easy, and um, I just like to make them homemade. And I like making it ahead of time, doing some meal prepping. That way, when it comes to breakfast time, I will have some easy um, breakfast options in the freezer. Thank you. 
right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get started on assembling the burritos. So I just have some medium sized tortillas and these are just from Aldi and I'm going to go ahead and lay some out. And I usually switch up the cheese. Usually I use American cheese. Today I'm going to be using Colby Jack cheese because I had a couple of those containers in the fridge and I didn't want one to go bad because we are bad about keeping up with um, lunch meat and cheese sometimes. So I decided to just go ahead and use that. That way, you know, we're not wasting food and it's just cheese. It's going to taste good regardless. So I'm just breaking those up and laying those down first. And then I'm going to go in with the egg and sausage mixture. So I'm going to place them all in a gallon Ziploc bag and then I will put them in the freezer once they cool down um, because they are still hot and um, yeah that is all I will have to do to these y'all just roll them up put them in the freezer and just so easy just get a couple out or how many ever they want and heat it up and put some pecani sauce on their plate and bam that is so easy they're so delicious um, but yeah, if you um, never tried your um, homemade sausage burritos, definitely give this recipe a try. It's really good. Tastes a lot better than the store bought as well. Never thought I'd be so far from home. Never thought a love could grow so cold. Never thought we had to run through burning fire. Never thought I'd changes as we know it you do what you can you just get through it it's a mystery how people can get by on as little love as you and I never thought I'd be so far from home never thought a love could
never made a choice It was never on the map On this crooked road called life It was never meant to be you and I I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them right I wanna stay Inside a way until I'm safe again. I have nothing more to put on. I'm defeated and withdrawn. Just trying to understand where it went wrong. Always believe that nothing good in life is free, but it's over.
Alrighty, y'all, that is it for today's Sunday Reset. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope it gave you some Monday motivation. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. It helps my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I would love for you to join my YouTube family, and thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, bye, y'all. I wanna stay wide open